Hello everyone. In one of NerdRage's videos, he uses a backflow preventer to keep his newly made hydrochloric acid solution from being sucked back into the reaction flask due to the high solubility of HCl and due to the pressure change from a cooling reaction flask. This backflow problem is common and several people have contacted me asking for a video on how to prevent it without having to buy the adapter. So I decided to do a short video on just that using common lab items. The first thing you'll need to perform this task is a funnel. I'm using a glass one so you can see how this works, but any funnel will do. And you'll also need a beaker that the funnel can fit in with a small amount of room free around the sides. It is important that the beaker diameter not be a whole lot larger than the funnel diameter, but you also don't want a tight fit. Last, you'll need some latex tubing. Take the end of the latex tubing and being very careful, place it on the end of the funnel. Using a clamp, clamp in the funnel and tubing over the beaker. The beaker should have however much water you wish to use to dissolve your gas in. Now move the funnel down till the rim is just a couple millimeters below the water level. And now you're set up. Okay, let's see how this works. As pressure rises, the gas will displace a small amount of water in the funnel, pushing the water up the sides of the beaker. As the pressure continues to increase, the gas will begin to bubble out in the beaker and into the water that was displaced in the funnel. This will continue as long as the pressure is increasing. When a backflow begins to happen and the pressure decreases, the water that was displaced is sucked back into the funnel. As the pressure continues to decrease, the funnel takes up all the volume of water that it can and then starts sucking in outside air, equalizing the pressure. This continues as long as the pressure decreases. This works because the volume of the funnel is greater than the volume of the water the funnel is immersed in. As you can see, there's no way for the water to get sucked back into the reaction flask with this setup. The only downside, of course, is if you're trying to keep outside air from entering your reaction. Okay, so here we have the complete setup with a gas generator attached. I'm going to make ammonia and bubble gas through the ice water. Just like before, you'll see the water getting pushed out, followed by a lot of bubbling. Then, when the reaction is done, the water gets sucked back up the funnel. Then outside air is pulled in, equalizing the pressure. I hope this video is helpful, and as always, thanks for watching.